I'm your host with Muslim 23. Joining me for Across the Void, Book One, Chapter Nine, Cross Examination. Now playing as Nova, you stare at your sister, reeling from the secret she just told you. You smuggled a Jura agent onto my ship. Well, I know it sounds bad, but we just need to hide him until we stop to refuel. Pax, you could have come to me sooner. I'm your big sister. I thought you trusted me. I wanted to handle it myself. The timing was just... off. Sol appears in the doorway with a sheepish expression, beads of sweat dot his forehead. Either the Admiral's about to walk in, or he overheard everything. Apologies for the interruption, Captain Alara, but the temperature in the passenger lounge has risen at an alarming rate. We turn back to her sister, only to find that she's disappeared. She's faster than... Cumbersnapper and a lightning storm! I just don't even know what the hell that is. Let's regulate the ship's temperature first. I'll find Pax later. The expediency is critical here. Fortunately, I trace the issue to one of the air vents, but have yet to identify the true cause. Probably the guy has crawled into an air vent. And Sol, hurry to the passenger lounge with V buzzing along behind you. Would you like an outfit? Would you? When you walk into the lounge, a wall of heat hits your body. Two familiar, inconsolable faces huddle below a large air van. My sweet, poor, adorable Wumble Pie is gone forever. He'll spend his final days wandering this metal labyrinth, terrified and alone. We'll have to prepare the funeral. He'd want a grand party with goodie bags full of moisturizer for all the guests. As you approach them, Leona's livid eyes meet yours. Finally, help is deemed to arrive. Our baby is trapped up there. Do something. Oh, your little water snake has gone in the vent. Fantastic. Let's all take a deep breath. I can get Warren back. Warren's just uh, taking a vacation. I'm getting back. Warren is just as important as any other passenger. I'll bring him back safe and sound. I appreciate that you're taking this seriously. I worked in customer service for a long time. Providing... <laughs> Providing a safe environment to everyone, including pets, is something the Atlas strives for. Adora lets out a piercing wail, startling the other passengers in the lounge. We're wasting time! Warren is going to perish in there! Sol, rolling up his sleeves, turns to you. Uh, Captain Alara, it appears we need to rescue the animal. I recommend entering the nearest vent. Both walk over to the vent, which towers over your head. There's no way I can reach that. Allow me. Sol carefully grips your waist and uses his height to lift you up to the vents. Oh, you just grab onto my waist, do you, Sol? Sol, um, thanks. You're... Ah, uh, uh, you've got really strong arms. An added dynamous bonus, Captain Laura. I'd argue it's all you. Reach down an arm to help Sol up. Thank you. Now, if we just need to find... Sol falls silent and points to the small, dark shadow at the end of the tunnel. There he is! You're gonna scare him. <laughs> Startled, Warren catapults down the tunnel, only to dart through a cloud of dust. He immediately pauses to lick himself clean. We should make use of this distraction, Captain Laura. Uh, come here, Warren. I'll help you get clean again. Warren freezes mid-lick and stares at you with wide, gleeful eyes. <coughs> Warren bounds straight into your arms. Got him. Nicely done, Captain Laura. The passengers will be mostly pleased. Sol leans close to a large, immobile fan to inspect it. It seems Warren managed to turn off the fan, resulting in the heat wave. Isn't it space? I'm just... just saying, typically, unless there's heat provided into a room, then typically you would freeze to death, but I digress. Sol presses a button on the wall, and the fan slowly begins to move again. Warren is safe, and the Atlas is comfortable again. I call that a job well done. Unless the whole interior is heated. Like, through the walls and everything, which, okay. As soon as you and Sol drop down from the vent, Dara and Leona sweep Warren from your arms. 
He's alive. What a relief. Oh, but he's simply filthy, Leona. We have to take him to the groomers immediately. They rush off with Warren in tow, so consults his data screen. I must head to the bridge. He looks back up at you and smiles. But it was a privilege to witness your heroic actions today, Captain Alora. I'd save lots of lost pets with you any time, Sol. Sol nods slowly, his eyes leaving yours as he glides away. You head down the hall to search for packs. You catch sight of uh, Merid M Meridian walking towards you. Ah, I hear we're having special company from the Vanguard. Admiral Demos arrives in a few hours, and I barely had the chance to prepare. I've given the rest of the crew a pile of work to do, but there's no way we'll get it all done in time. Well, maybe I can help. Um, made it through my share of Vanguard evaluations during the war. My inspection record is spotless. You hear someone scoff, and Kepler appears at your side, rolling her eyes at Meridian. Meridian, this is an inspection with Admiral Demos. If the hangar bay blast doors aren't back in working shape, she'll slap us with a huge fine that Artemis won't be able to ha happy with. You're right. Plus, this will be our only chance to fix them before we meet Artemis on Matara. I know it's not quite the same thing, but I've done a bunch of mechanical repairs on synthetic limbs. And I have real experience getting captains ready for inspections. Besides, I know my way around the workings of a ship. And before diamond choice between the two of them, Kepler winks at you and Meridian flashes you a wide grin. Uh, why don't we all uh, repair the doors together? Fix the doors with Meridian and Kepler. Hope no one notices. I need you both to make sure your stations are ready. Admiral Demos will probably be too busy with the rest of the ship to check out the bay. Ha! I hope you're right, Cap. I guess I'll be getting back to work. Feel free to calm me if you need anything, Nova. Thanks, Meridian. I will. Same goes for me. I'm here day and night. Kepler salutes you as she and Meridian head off to in different directions. After Kepler and Meridian have left, V lets out a chiming noise. And before outfit selection... Pax sent you a calm, Nova! She needs you to come right away alone! Tell her I'm on my way. And have her let us know where it is I'm going. Oh, no, no outfit? Damn. Here, I was thinking we'd change into a nice outfit to meet the stowaway. A few minutes later, you make your way over to the lower levels of the hangar bay, where Pax calmed you to meet her. We haven't got much time, Pax. Let's make this quick. Pax steps out of the shadow, signaling ye for you to follow her. He's right over there! The door to the supply closet bursts open, and a Romley leaps out, cursing at Pax. You've lost! How many times are you going to shove me in there? I nearly suffocated! Nova, this is Izzer, a Jar agent in need of our protection. And you're the only one who can make sure the Admiral doesn't find me. Interesting. Your presence endangers my ship. Why hide on the Atlas? Anything I can get you? Like a foot up your ass. <sighs> Why hide on the Atlas? We're a luxury ship. There's nothing for you here. I go where I'm told, and where we have operatives. Pax glances back and forth between you and Izzer. Why don't you tell Nova what you told me? Getting to know you better will help her see why it's so important you remain hidden. I told Pax the reason I joined the Jura. And now it seems like a good place to start. Izzer sighs and rubs his hand over his beard. My wife, Artyria, and I lived in a mining colony on a small moon. The air was bad. It caused many to become infertile. After several miscarriages, my wife was told she could never have kids of her own. It must have been heartbreaking for both of you. It was. Atria wanted justice. Uh, Jura told her if the Vanguard had offered her better medical treatment, her kids would still be alive. 
So we left the colony to save the lives of others like us, but Atria was killed in battle a year later. Why do they keep misspelling her name? I feel like that's keyword, because, I don't know. Is our... I feel like, yeah! I feel like going with your line. Because they misspelled the name. Now, that's either a Pixelberry issue, or that's a hint. But then again, he's speaking, so how do we know how it's spelled? I see, I see what you're doing there, Pixelberry. You're misguiding me. Tell me about your wife. How about that? Was she a minor, too? Zer's eyes widened, and clearly caught off guard. Uh, my wife? Oh, uh, no. Uh, Atria was an asteroid farmer. We both were. It seems strange for two farmers to live on a mining colony. And it wasn't your wife's name. Ah, ha, 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 ha. See, this is why, yeah, right there. Atria? Um, Atria was her nickname. We lived on an asteroid built near next to the mining colony on the moon. Miners have to get their food from somewhere. The only difference is an R and an I. How's that a nickname? Addy would be more of a better name. Pax looks at you with a contemplative expression. Izzer's in charge of delivering a top secret message to the Jura. What's the message? It's classified. I'm sharing it with a low level operative and her sister. If you don't tell me, you're not going to get giving me much to go on. Zer sighs dramatically. Alright, I'll give you the bottom line. I've got vital information that will determine whether or not the Jura wins in the next major battle against the Vanguard. What exactly do you know? I've already said too much. You won't be getting anything else out of me. As he turns away, V lets out a loud whistling noise. Nova, you've got a calm from Seoul. Admiral Demos shuttle docks in five minutes. I've got to get to the bridge. It's protocol to greet her there. Get towards the exit of the hangar bay as quickly as you can. You hear Pax running to catch up. Nova, wait! Pax reaches out and places her hand on your arm pleadingly. If the Vanguard arrest Izzar, the Jura will suffer. Please tell me, are you going to report Izzar to Admiral Demos? <sighs> Why would he be completely caught off guard? This is this is interesting. So why would he be caught off guard by ask, asking about his wife? Interesting. Also, the fact that he miss like the names are misspelled, and I'm not buying that. That's a nickname. I'm not exactly buying that. But we have already. Hmm. Hmm. Keep him away from the inspection. Report him as a stowaway. I mean, this would... If you report him as a stowaway, it would affect your sister's helpfulness towards the Jura. And there may be coming times when we do need to help them. This one's tough. Um, it's too bad we can't delve into more and understand his story a little more and see if there's any more plot holes. Because I feel like we should report him, but I'm gonna... We did Vanguard the first time. Let's do with Jura this time. I won't say anything to the Vanguard. Pax has her arms around your neck. Thank you, Nova. You have no idea how much this means to me. You better not get me into trouble. I swear, I'll make sure he stays hidden. You better. You can take all yourself from Pax's embrace and head to the bridge for your first inspection. Now playing as Eos. Upon strict orders, you welcome the leader of the Vanguard Marshals and the crew's mess hall. Admiral Demos. Your commanding officer nods in greeting. The constellations on her skin shimmer beneath the bright overhead lighting. Marshal Elora. Ah, uh, pretty. Uh, I like the eyes, kinda. The lips, though. Eh. 
and draw away attention from the eyes. Um, it's weird. It's just, it's a combo that just, eh. Um, I'll be complimentary, though. You look fantastic. I was starting to think I'd imagine how attractive you are. Okay, oh, Eos. I see your, lo your lack of subtlety hasn't improved. Just being honest, I hear it's a great quality. Emerald surveys the room as she talks. I hear you disguised your arrival as a surprise inspection. You heard correctly. No one can know why I'm here, except essential personnel. I've been searching for Senator Tari since the assassination attempt. You did the right thing telling me, Marshal Alara. I know we can't afford to spare many resources, but she needs protection. More than I can give her on my own. From now on, I'll help you guard the Senator. Ah, uh, great. I get around my back. Senator, trust me, I was hoping to get more time with you. Thanks for having my back. You've never been afraid to put yourself in the line of fire. Everyone needs a bit of fire in their lives, as besides, nothing beats the heat of an explosion on your back. You spread out your arms, gesturing to the other side of the room. Now, back to the real reason you came on board, access to the crew's luxury food dispensers. Demos glides over to large machines, her long, elegant sleeves rising as she lifts her hand to click on the screen. They don't have snacks like these on the front lines. <laughs> Not much can compare to the Atlas. The machine materializes her selection, and Demos pops a crunchy, kill stuck bot chip in her mouth. Mm. I'm mean, not getting too comfortable here. I can't have one of my best marshals losing their edge. I think you mean the best, and I'll have you know I'm as sharp as ever. Demos waves her hand to gesture around the empty mess hall. There's not much action here. Your combat skills must be rusty. Uh, don't let the lack of battlefields on the Atlas fool you. I train every day. There's an advanced combat training room that rivals the one at the Marshal's headquarters. Hmm, I'd love to see it for diamonds. Why don't we find out if you can still keep up with me? Hmm. I mean, you're kind of throwing me off with a gown. For all I know, you could be like... What's that woman from WWE? China? You could be like China underneath it all and just dropkick my ass. Head to the bridge. I can keep up just fine. We should, uh, head over to the bridge. The captain is waiting to meet you. I'll just have to test your reflexes another time. Let's make this inspection quick. A little while later, you and Demos find Nova on the bridge. He turns to Demos. Welcome aboard. You must be Admiral Demos. Admiral, meet Nova. The esteemed captain of the Atlas. She keeps everything running smoothly around here and leads a top-notch crew. You must give Nova a formal vanguard salute. It's an honor to meet you, Captain Alara. It's a pleasure, it's all mine. Uh, Nova has already prepped for your arrival, so you can proceed with the inspection right away. One moment. I just want to thank Captain Alara for allowing me to conduct this unorthodox inspection. The entire vanguard is grateful for your discretion. I'm sure it hasn't been easy to keep the Senator's presence a secret from the rest of your crew. Nova's smile falters. I'm not sure what you mean. Marshal Laura didn't tell you the inspection is a ruse to offer Senator Tari an extra escort to the capital? No, my brother failed to mention that. Reach for Nova's arm, trying to erase the hurt on her face with a single touch. Uh, Nova, I, I didn't think I was allowed to say anything. I, I never meant to... Nova plasters on a smile, straightening her posture. Not to worry, Eos, I know now. Slowly, you lower your arm from Nova's. The pain in her eyes causes your chest to tighten. Oops. Not like it was our fault, though. Now playing as Pax, the sound of voices draws you to the bridge, where you peek around the corner to see your siblings talking to the Admiral. Uh-oh. After listening for several seconds, you feel a hand touch your shoulder and jump a foot into the air. Hey, Pax. 
How's the eavesdropping going? Denaya. Uh, better than with two sets of ears. Apparently it could be sneakier. Successfully spying requires less getting caught. No one wants to get trapped in the light. You have to blend into the dark. You're too noticeable. In a good way. Zanaya slides closer to your hair, brushing your shoulders as she leans over to listen in. Wow, rules of engagement hasn't gone far into space, has it? <clears throat> We're accomplices now. It never hurts to have a partner in crime. You tune back into what Nova is saying on the bridge. Literally, rules of engagement. Let me know if you need anything else for your inspection. Thank you, Captain Laura. I have all I require for now. Zinnia clutches your arm as Admiral Demo starts towards you. We can't let her catch us eavesdropping. Hide behind the pillar! You dive over to one of the pillars further down the corridor, but it leaves you totally exposed. Wah-wah! Pax! I pulls you closer against her body to help you keep out of sight as much as possible. You feel her heart beating against your chest. Luckily, Demos turns in the opposite direction and doesn't seem to notice you. Nova and Eos emerge a moment later in the middle of a heated exchange. How could you go to your boss before me, Eos? Having sent an Atari on board puts my crew and passengers in danger. Admiral Demos came up with the cover story. I had nothing to do with her claiming it was an inspection. Stab in the middle of the corridor, leaving Zania hidden behind the pillar. Eos, you called Demos? We need to learn how to communicate. This family needs some serious therapy. You called the Vanguard. Well, I smuggled a Jura agent on board. Classic miscommunication. He didn't know about the Jura agent, you idiot. Understatement of the year, says. Wait. How did I not know about this? This looks back and forth between you and Noah. I swear I didn't do this to hurt either of you. I, I did this to help protect Lyra. Lyra! What about your family? Several members of the crew appear in the corridor, drawn to the commotion. What, does the doors not close in this damn ship? The truth is, Eos, you're always... You've always cared more about everyone else than us. Eos claws his hand angrily through his hair. What more do you want from me? I built my life around the two of you. I wouldn't even be here on the Atlas if I hadn't. All that matters to you is who you want us to be. You've never accepted me for who I really am. You act like you have to fix me. You never take responsibility for anything. If you quit blaming the rest of the galaxy for five seconds, maybe you'd see that you aren't the victim here. What am I then, Eos? You're one who abandoned us, Pax. Tears fill your brother's eyes. When you left Cyber, you didn't need just leave your world behind. You left us too and rejected every part of yourself that linked you to us. Step back in shock and then turn to Nova. Is that how you feel too? Nova glances around at your growing audience. This isn't the place for the Spax. Shake your head mutely, letting tears roll down your cheeks as you walk away. R-O-E, dun dun dun. In the engineering room, you sit with your back to one of the machines and put your head in your hands. Moments later, someone else settles down beside you. Let me guess, Holmes? Oh! I saw what happened. I just wanted to see if you were okay. Gemma's head pops up with her Holmes collar, and she paws some lint away from her face. You wipe the stray tears from your eyes and try to crack a joke, but your heart isn't in it. It helps to have a shoulder to cry on. Uh, what you said was hurtful, but no one ever cared about uh, me enough to worry like that. I guess I've never been close enough to anyone for to let them get invested in what happens to me. Holmes. Mmm. Mmm. Personal moment here. Ah. Uh... This one's tough.
I have to think from an outside perspective and Cat Pax as a sympathetic girl. Oh, that sounds awful. I can only imagine feeling like no one cares about what you do. I don't think they mean to, but sometimes I'd like to be more than a blip. You're more than a blip to me. You're my friend. Holmes gets to his feet and holds out a hand to help you out. A friend that blew up the hangar bay. Enough about me. You need some cheering up. The only thing that'll make me feel better right now is, is building something. That gives me an idea. You can finish the observatory with me. I've been working on it for months and I could use your skills. After we finish building it, uh, we'll see the prettiest, brightest stars in the whole galaxy for diamonds. Oh, look at that. Add the room to the atlas with Holmes. Log inventory instead. This is such a gimmick. I'm not feeling up to it. Besides, I gotta log some inventory on the bridge. Me too. I'll join you. Some company would be nice. Let Holmes pull you to your feet, feeling lighter as you return to the bridge together. A few minutes later, you walk onto the now empty bridge and soft short to stare at the chaos beyond the viewport. I'm assuming Jura and Vanguard are fighting. What's happening? I thought we were far away from the war. Jura and Vanguard shift speed in and out of you, firing without pause. Explosions, flares, lasers cut into the hull of a distant ship. The war zone must be growing. We flew straight into the battle. Oh no, guys, whatever will we do? Initiate status report. Minor damage. Moderate morale. Cheerful. Allegiances to Jura. Damn. Okay. So at least we got that done. So, uh, for those who aren't on Twitch right now watching our live stream, the plan is to do high school story class act. <laughs> Since it doesn't require a key. Um, I don't know. We'll see. You guys know my thoughts. And then we'll get around to Desire and Decorum, which will be up once we get a key. And uh, then eventually we'll do Senior whenever we get more keys. Uh, but it'll probably be later tonight, if not tomorrow. Because uh, we've already done, what, f I mean, total after today and after the new chapters get done, five? Five chapters? Six, maybe? I forget. Um, I know it's a minimum of five. So with that being said, I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.